<laughs> Clara, darling, where have you been? This press has been killing me, darling. Do not scare me like that. I can always replace you with someone from the Kata. I am terribly sorry, Mr. Francois. The line to the train station, it was very, uh, it was very... Na, 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 na. Quit your telly, darling, darling. Look! Look at my adoring fans! Absorbing my collected masterpieces all together. Do not waste such time. Go now. Discover your interests, darling. And you can probably start with the European section. I know you like the Europeans. Darling! Are you listening? Yes, Mr. Francois. Go, 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 go! My, uh, I am so sorry. Uh, l let me help you there. What a rude gentleman, huh? Oh, b by the way, I was hoping to look for assistance. Um, yeah. How may I assist you? Um. I was hoping if you could give a short historical background on this masterpiece. I'm quite unfamiliar with this one. Oh, well, this painting is entitled Bloom Hilda Fuerte. It was created by my boss, Hugo. Francois? Yes, I've worked with him before, but please do go on. Right. It, uh, it depicts a flower which, if you could look closely, is a woman covering her face as she is still in the process of blooming. Thus, the name. Fascinating. Such a beautiful yet amateur work from Mr. Francois, don't you think? <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to say this, but to be honest, I do agree with you on that. <laughs> just, just don't help Mr. Francois, because, you know, he's my boss. I really want to keep this job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Frankie wouldn't mind if I critique his work negatively. We go way back. I hope you don't mind me asking, sir, but how come I never really seen you around here? You work as the intern of Frankie? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sort of his assistant. An assistant curator. Interesting. So how's he been treating you lately? Oh, fine, I guess. You know, the usual like a drama game. Ah, yes. Frankie the Perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> Not that! Who you think you are? This is my masterpiece! Let me go, So, Clara, would you mind leading the way to the next exhibit? How did you know my name? Oh, I just overheard Frankie talking to you a while ago. Anyways, shall we? Anton, the lost painting of Juan Luna. You could probably say this is both an artifact and painting as this was the unfinished portrait of Juan Luna's brother in his general uniform. Bienvenue, mon ami. Um, sir... I'm not quite sure if you should be that close to the painting. Nor should you be touching them like that. Where did you find this portrait? Oh, well, a research team of Mr. Francois stumbled upon the painting in an archive in a museum from Madrid. And I guess they recently shipped it to us weeks ago. Do you know why his hand is inside his pocket? Because he's trying to copy the pose of heroes? Maybe similar to Napoleon Bonaparte and Karl Marx? Look closer. I don't... I don't see anything. Look closer. paper. Possibly 
another? Clara, I'm about to tell you what you what nobody knows yet about this painting. That paper that Anton is holding is a letter, a letter for his inauguration of being a general. This painting is not just an ordinary unfinished portrait. This is the first visual record to capture Anton's legacy. I, I am just. How do you know so much about this, sir? <laughs> I'm a historian. Just happened to do my research. Well, Clara, it has been my pleasure to meet a fellow cultured and passionate historian such as yourself. I wish I have more conversations with you in the future. Likewise. Um. Before you go, may I ask if if you just happen to have any, you know, if you have any social media or contact info, just in case, just in case you want to talk more again sometime. Oh, I'd love to, Clara. Though I don't have any social media, but hey, don't worry. I'll be in this exhibition every morning, so you can see me by that time. I'm so impressed by how much you know about David Fagan. As in, not many people know him like you do. He deserves to be at least mentioned in history class. I do agree with. Honestly, I just go and tell students, you know those kids that come here for their field trips? Like, hey, did you, did you know we used to have an African-American captain that led Filipino soldiers during the Philippine-American War? Their faces are just cold and lifeless. No reaction. Not interested. Quite disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't blame them though. I mean, most schools, they don't even allot much units for their history classes compared to their other core subjects. God, I know. I wonder what will happen to these kids when they grow up. Not learning history. <laughs> hmm, can't imagine. Maybe to them, it's probably just some dead guy in a grave. Perhaps it doesn't have to be, Clara. It's just evolving, <laughs> adapting to its current surroundings. You know, we've been having a lot of conversations about art. You'd think, after all that, I still never got to know your name. Well, you could just call me the curator then. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been fascinated by the rule of placing titles like names. And if I did, I'd just be as entitled as Francois. <laughs> Do you know what Pepe gave as a gift to Josephine before his execution? Mm -hmm. Cover your eyes. Now open them. Before he was arrested and taken to Luneta, he gave this book to his one true love. Something to remember him by. Wow, this... Okay, this has to be the best gift anyone has ever given me. Clara, whatever happens, never stop remembering me. Promise me. What? I don't... I don't understand. Just promise me, Clara.
Sir, please, could you tell me where this painting came from? Why, I think that's the newly arrived painting that Mr. Franco just ordered. Yeah, they call it La Donia de Ora, or The Woman in Time. It was assumed to be made somewhere in the late 1800s in Madrid. You know at least the name of the artist who painted this? That I do not know. All we know is it was made by some anonymous artist called The Curator. Some called him The Traveler. They never were clear about the details of the artist. Huh. Well, all we know is he must have created one of the most beautiful artworks that has ever existed. Thank you. That would be all. <laughs> 